CTE Pro 1 True Series Video 17, uh, Parallax and Sightlines. It's extremely important that you understand that you must see your sightlines from Parallax. We're going to take a single shot here and I just want to highlight uh, a, a contrast between, between seeing a sightline conventionally versus that of seeing it from parallax. Uh, I'm just placing my stick here to show a line from diamond to diamond. And in between these two diamonds on this line, I'm going to place the object ball. And on the same line, I'm going to place the cue ball halfway between these two diamonds, but I'm going to move it up by one ball. Now, first thing I'm going to do uh, concerning this little contrast study is just to take a look at center to edge from a conventional perspective, which has nothing to do with real center to edge aiming. Absolutely nothing to do with what occurs in center to edge aiming the real McCoy. So I, I'm just going to drop down conventionally with my strongest line of sight uh, uh, aligning my cue so that I can aim directly through the center of the cue ball to the outer edge of the object ball. And then take a look at the tracking of the object ball. The object ball without any question is going to track to the right of center pocket. That line does me no good in any kind of way concerning center to edge aiming. Now, I'm going to set up the same cue ball object ball relationship and this time I'm going to view the center to edge line from a parallax viewing position. Essentially what I'm going to be seeing, it's not going to look the same as it would conventionally. I'm going to be seeing the cue ball and the object ball geared. The object ball, the cue ball geared to the inside, the object ball geared to the outside. And it's going to give me a different look, a geared look. Now, I'm still going to perceptually see a center cue ball tick that connects with an SP30 outer object ball tick. But yet, when you look at the tracking of the object ball from the parallax uh, execution of this sightline shot, you're going to see that it, it's two different lines. So I'm going to poke my head to the inside. It's a left cut, so my head's poked to the inside of the left. There's the perfect sight line, and I'm just going to shoot down that sight line. And you can see that it uh, clearly hit to the right of the pocket, thick of the pocket. Now this is a, that was a 30 degree perception that hit thick of the pocket, thus requiring an inside pivot for the solution uh, as an overcut line to center pocket. So what's really critical here as I go down on this shot for basic CTE manual pivoting is that I'm going to place my bridge V to the inside of this sight line. And then I'm going to step the cue ball to the inside based on this innermost edge here, the outermost edge for the inside of the cue ball. That will give me a new center. That's what I'm going to align to. So I'm going to tweak my bridge V to be on that extended no imagination shot line that, that extends backward. So that when I pivot, I'll be, I'll be on the new uh, stepped center. So it's extremely important 
that you get your bridge V to the inside of that sight line just slightly. That's the perfect place in order to tweak it, should you need to tweak it, to be able to be on the step center so that you can pivot to the step center. Okay, here we go. Um, it's going to be a left to right manual pivot. There's the perfect sight line. Now I'm looking at the outermost left edge of the cue ball for the left side. That gives me a new center. And then I shoot down that center. And I get the kind of entry that I want if center pocket is my goal. Don't, don't make a mistake by thinking that in centered edge aiming you have to shoot every shot in the center of the pocket. You adjust off of what you know to play different portions of the pocket. Which is, which is very simple to do. But first things first, in centered edge aiming, you learn the system. It's a center, foundational center pocket system. So please, uh, please be aware that when you're seeing sight lines, you must see them from a parallax perspective, not a conventional perspective. Thank you.